My husband and I just moved into this house. It was just a small three-bedroom, two-bath, typical ranch-style house. Perfect for a starter home. Perfect to start a family in. We'd picked it because it fit our budget. We were looking for something affordable, since I won't be working when we have kids. If. The house seemed nice, though. The carpets were stained and the wallpaper was hideous. But it was nothing that we couldn't change. No permanent water damage, nothing like that. The only thing that I did not like were the cobwebs. I thought it was strange that someone would sell a house without cleaning out cobwebs. Michael assured me that it would be fine, though. We were in a fairly spider-prone area. He'd just raid the area and we'd be fine. The cobwebs didn't seem like a problem after that. I cleaned them up, set up lamps, moved in furniture. It felt cozy and safe. I did, however, notice this one web in the bedroom that we weren't using. It didn't look old, like a normal cobweb. No dust or anything. I cringed. I hate spiders. I pulled it down and crushed it, sure that I had killed the spider in the web. Things were fine for the next few days, until Michael had to leave on a business trip for a couple of weeks. He did this fairly frequently, flying halfway across the world to talk to some factory in Taiwan or to make a deal with another company in the Netherlands. It used to not bother me when we were living in an apartment with other people nearby. I didn't realize how much I hated being alone until the first night he was gone. So I kept myself busy. I decided to start unpacking our things, finally. That's when I noticed the spider web again. In the same spot as before. I'll admit, I acted a bit childish when I saw it. Being alone in the house with the spider. But I finally got the nerve to tear it down again. I decided I'd rather not go back into that room that night. The next day, it was up again. So I knocked it down. And then again. And again. I noticed it was getting bigger. I thought it was just my paranoia. I hate spiders. It would make sense to get worked up about it and think that it was getting larger. After the fifth day, I decided to call an exterminator. He assured me that there was nothing to worry about that spiders were diligent workers. He promised me that he would handle the problem. He didn't. The next day, I locked the door and duct taped around the edges. If the spider wasn't going to leave, it was not coming out into the rest of my house.
The rest of the time that my husband was gone went by fine. I didn't get any unpacking done. But I decided I'd get some other things done around the house. About two or three days before Michael was supposed to come home, he called me, asking me to scan some documents for him. They were in the room that I had sealed. The room with the spider web. With some hesitancy, I unlocked the door and peeled back the tape. I shrieked, tried to pull the door shut. The whole room had been encased in a thick web. And not the pretty, delicate kind. No, it was thick and fuzzy, surrounding everything, holding the door open. I fell back as I lost my grip on the door handle. I ran into the other bedroom, the one that would be for our first child. I slammed the door shut and crawled onto the bed, pulled my knees up against my chest. I was trembling, crying. I saw movement out of the corner of my eye. Something near the closet. Something dark and hairy. The length of a full-grown man. The single digit uncurled into the room and rested against the door preventing my exit. And that is when I remembered. Some spiders wait outside of their web for their prey. <laughs>